So far, we have discussed how a body gets charged, how charges interacts, and also we have seen lightning as an electric spark. Now, let's see how lightning occurs. During thunderstorms, the air currents move upward and the water droplets move downwards. This heavy movement between air currents and the water droplets separates the charges. But by a process which is not yet completely identified, the positive charges get accumulated in the upper part of the clouds and the negative charges get accumulated in the lower part of the clouds. There are accumulation of charges in the ground as well. When the amount of accumulation of charges becomes very large, the air which is a poor conductor of electricity cannot resist their flow. So the negative and the positive charges meet and produces a streaks of light and sound. This streaks of light is called lightning. The lightning bolt is so dangerous, it can even harm our life. So there are enough safety measures to be taken during the lightning. To start with, during thunderstorm, if you are at your home, be inside your home. Or if you are outside, get into a building. Or if you are in your vehicle, stay inside your vehicle. So by doing so, what you are doing is you are protecting yourself from the lightning. And do not use mobiles or telephones during a heavy lightning or thunderstorm. Because it allows electric charges to flow through it easily. It is not advisable to stand in an open space during heavy lightning such as a beach or under a tree or in an open field because in those places the lightning can easily harm you and stay away from metal equipments during heavy lightning. As we know metals are good conductors of electricity, it can easily harm you because the flow of charges will be easy over there. For huge buildings, you can use lightning conductors. Lightning conductors. New word, right? Lightning conductors consist of large number of conductors with pointing edges. Their pointing edges are connected with conducting materials such as a copper wire. The copper wire comes down the building and it is connected with a metallic plate. So when the charges from the clouds reaches the pointing edges, the copper wire carries it down to the metallic plate. And in the metallic plate, it, got, it will get discharged. So here in students we have learned how lightning occurs, what are the safety measures to be taken during a lightning and what is lightning conductors.